What's going on guys? Back today, another video. Last time we got this all finished up, or at least painted for the initial coating. So with today's project, we have metal flake. We got gold, because I want gold flakes in my engine bay. So my game plan with this is since I'm using rattle cans, because normally you're supposed to mix it with like a clear coat um, and then spray it down. Um, I'm gonna put down base layer of clear coat and then kind of just, and then just blow it all over the car. And then once it's all there, I'm gonna go ahead and put another, I don't know, a bunch more coats of clear coat on top of it to seal it all in. Um, and then hopefully that will give us the effect that we're looking for where it's got the flake in it and we ended up just using rattle cans as opposed to actually mixing it, which would be the more ideal way, but I don't have a proper spray gun and I don't feel like doing that for this, this job. Maybe when we paint the exterior of the car, I'll try a spray gun out next. So. We'll see, but that's down the road. I'm trying to get this done within a reasonable amount of time. I don't feel like learning how to paint properly, I guess, right this second. We'll save it for a later date. Um, anyway, let's get started. Okay, so I put a little bit in the cap. I'm gonna try the blowing technique and just try to give it a little whoosh of air from my breath on it. So we're gonna spray a little bit of just regular old clear coat, the same brand um, I've heard. I don't know if this is true, but when you do painting, projects, especially like spray painting. If you can try and use all the same uh, brand, so like primer, Krylon, you know, the actual paint, and then clear coat, all the same brand. I've heard that it bonds together supposedly a little bit better because they might actually formulate for better stuff, so whatever. So. kind of rad. It's going to be kind of hard to get it all even, but it kind of works. All right, I'm going to give that 10 minutes to dry and then I'm going to put a couple clear coats over the top of it and we'll see how it comes out because I want to test run this first. Which I'm clearly committed now. Now that I look at it, <laughs> looks like I'm pretty committed anyway, cause I did get it all up in here. So I don't know if you can see it very well. Maybe, maybe you can, I don't know. We'll see, how well can you guys see this? Oh yeah, it's sparkly. Which I didn't do it really heavily right here. I only did really like one little blow in this area. So. I guess the technique would be to like do it a little bit farther out so it gets a little bit better saturation. So try that next time. I don't know, we're playing with it. What's the worst case? It doesn't look great when we paint over the top of it at some point later on, but we're not gonna do that right now. So like I said, we're gonna be back in about 10 minutes. I'm gonna throw some clear coat over the top of it and we'll see how that goes. So be back in a little bit. We tried it our best. It looks okay-ish. I think it's cause it's also on a vertical surface that's having a little bit troubles like sticking to all of it, so. We're gonna give it a college try. What's the worst case? It doesn't look the greatest and we have a sparkly weird engine bay, but we're gonna go for it for funsies. So we're just gonna, I'm gonna probably do this like section it off. So I might like do like this chunk, then this chunk, this chunk, you know, into like five or six different sections so that I have enough time to get the flake on there before it like dries too fast. So I think I'm gonna just start in this back corner and work my way from there. So. front area looks pretty decent like you can get up in there and you can see all the little gold flake on it it looks pretty good so the one thing to note is it really loves to keep in the crevice so that happened um this was my first area and this did not go well so the real technique here is is if you're gonna blow it on like blow super super softly like i don't even know how to describe it but like any sort of like big blow you'll end up with like 
spotting like this where it's just like a solid wall of gold so unless that's the look you're going for which i don't really know what to do about this there isn't much i can do and it's probably pretty wet so i'm not going to touch it um and the same thing like this like like i said it's like it's going to pull up in the corners and it has a hard time sticking to the walls so i would say 10 out of 10 don't be like me and use your hands and your mouth to spread glitter all over your car because it just makes a mess and it probably isn't going to come out like you expect it Get a gun set up. Probably the better way to do it. Um, but hashtag no shame. It was kind of fun. And I think it'll still look okay once the whole car is put together. Um, this back corner, just a little bit disappointing. That's okay though. We can live with our mistakes. You live and you learn. So note to future me, buy a spray gun if I'm ever going to put glitter all over everything again. Also, it's literally everywhere. And it's probably all over me. And you can probably make a lot of references to Twilight right about now. Um, so go ahead, I'm going to just start clear coating this and then I'm going to just show you guys the final product once we're all done. I'm going to give this a few more minutes to dry up so the first coat's done and go from there. So see you guys in a bit. I'm standing in my engine bay again. Uh, last time, which was like three, four days ago, I uh, went ahead and threw glitter and clear coat all over this and I think it looks pretty alright but I think it would look better if there was just more of it. Um, Oh good, it's starting to rain now. Yay. Anyway, um, so like up in here, like it looks pretty alright, like when it gets like a little bit thicker. So I think what I'm going to try to do is kind of like just go really thick everywhere. And just kind of see how it turns out. Worst case, I don't like it and we keep it anyway. Because that's where I'm at right now and why not? Just like before, I'm going to go ahead and throw some clear coat down and throw some more glitter on it. I'm all glittery. I'm a vampire. Okay, check it out, guys. I think it looks, and it doesn't really look as good on camera, but like, it looks pretty good in person. Kind of just looks like a dusty yellow on the camera. But that's okay. Anyway, I'm not going to be covered in glitter for the next, I don't know how long, two months, whatever. I literally feel like I belong on Twilight now. Glittery! Wait, wait. Glittery! Anyway, now that I'm done being obnoxious and pretty psyched on it, I might throw more glitter on it later. I haven't decided yet. Like, I kind of wanted to try to get that top part just super, super glittery. But, like, I don't want to spray too much clear coat on and have it run and drip and whatnot because I imagine it's a little heavier with the flake in there. So, anyway, I'm going to let this dry for a couple days. Probably get back to it. Probably sand it, do a couple more things, because when you do glitter in your paint, you have to sand it, so it smooths out, otherwise it will be textured, and that sucks. So, anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Uh, remember, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.